Hi guys. Welcome to Late Night with Katie. Did I look like Troy or what? Okay, so what are our topics tonight? Well, the first topic we will be discussing is cranberry juice and how it's so delicious. This is a princess cup. See, it has Belle and Cinderella and Tangled and Tiana and Ariel has all of them. But inside, it has cranberry juice. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, that tastes good. It has a hint of apple. Amazing. Um, our next subject will be vampires. How does one kill a vampire? I mean, there are so many theories. Um, you have your your wooden sticks. You have your fire. You have your r ripping apart and fire. You have your starvation. Um, that's all I know right now. But how do you determine which one is which? Does it vary with vampire? Are there different types of vampires? Like there are different types of people. I mean, not to be like segregated or anything, but we have whites and blacks and browns and yellows. I mean, Asians and Native Americans and African Americans and, and Caucasians. Um, I hope you all get my racism. I'm not racist. I love everybody. Um, but anyways, are vampires, like, divided into sectors like that? Like, you have your, let's say, Vampire Diaries vampires, and then you have your Twilight vampires, and then you have your Dracula vampires. Like, is that how it works? And, like, it depends on what type of vampire you are to be killed. Like, say, you're a Vampire Diaries vampire. Do you have to be stabbed with a wooden stick in the heart? Or are you a Twilight Vampire where you have to be torn apart and burned? And are you a Dracula Vampire who doesn't die? I don't really know how you kill a Dracula Vampire. I haven't read Dracula yet, but I have it, so I will read it. And then, so can you answer that question? Comment below what your opinion is, because I know you all care so much about this. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is lotions and guys. I know my boy, my, my brother, my brother doesn't like lotion, but do other people like lotion, like other guys? And if they do, do they like it when girls wear scented lotion or is that just gross? Because I know that sometimes... It smells nasty to guys, but it smells really good to girls. Like, are there any girly lotions that smell good to guys? Or do they just all smell gross? You know? I don't know. I'm not a guy. I wouldn't know. But I, what I do know is I like the smell of cologne. So, that's all I know. I actually, I would, I probably might wear cologne. But then people already think I'm a dyke, so I'm not going to wear cologne. <laughs> that would make me even more of a, of a, of a, you know what. So, um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Let me think. What else was that? Oh, one more topic that I just thought of. Um, what if midgets, excuse my language, are just evolved hobbits? I was thinking about that the other day, because I was like, wait, is the Middle Earth, like, because they mentioned humans in the Lord of the Rings, so that means we exist, and we mentioned hobbits. Do hobbits actually exist in the form of a midget? I mean, would a midget get offended if you called it a hobbit? Called him or her a hobbit? I mean, I don't know. And I, I'm kind of scared because I've seen 
how the midget reacted on um, Elf when Elf called him an elf. And, you know, um, I don't really know. Like, can you guys tell me? Like, do you think that midgets are just civilized hobbits with smaller feet? I don't know. I mean, I would think it'd be pretty awesome to meet a midget. Because I'd be like, yo, my hobbit, bro. But then, like, what if it gets offended? Like, because sometimes I call my friends brownies because they're brown. But they don't get offended because that's just me. But do they know that? Would midgets know that? Like, if it was my midget friend, would he know that? I don't know. And this is a question I need to be answered. How do you kill a vampire? And are midgets offended if you call them hobbits? I don't know. I hope this puts some thought in your head. Have a good night, guys.